Democratic servicemen have been protesting in the national capital, starting with Jantar Mantar. Today, there's been a candlelight march from Jantar Mantar to Amar Jawan Jyoti, which is India Gate in the heart of the national capital. They are demanding the immediate implementation of one rank, one pension. This, despite the Prime Minister's repeated insurance, uh, assurances, rather, the last of which came on Independence Day. War veterans have refused to call off their protests. Now, the numbers are swelling. We are being told that family members have also joined in and are expected to join in the protest in a big way from the 27th onwards. They are also joined here by several other ex-servicemen and their families. Uh, so, so here they are, as you can see, they are all lighting candles. What they say is that it is unfortunate that uh, for ex-servicemen who brave so many difficulties and so serve the nation, uh, sacrificing their lives for the nation, have to resort to such tactics to gain uh, the attention of the government and to demand their rights. They say that it is unfortunate that the ex-servicemen, the three ex-servicemen have had to fast and to death to demand for what is right. So here they are all, uh, uh, of course, they are here to pay homage to the 1965 uh, uh, war martyrs, but they are all here also to sort of uh, give a message to the government that they will try to uh, pay homage to the 1965 uh, war martyrs in their own way and not the way of the government. Because remember, they have uh, refused the uh, invitation of the government for the commemoration ceremony, and uh, they are all here. A lot of uh, support coming in. We've also had bystanders who've joined them ultimately with candles in their hand uh, to support the ex-servicemen and their cause. So a uh, lot of uh, support coming in. It's all swelling by the day. And if I could just speak to some people present here. Sir, you are here to support the ex-servicemen to pay homage to the 1965 martyrs. Yeah. Do you want to say something about this is the, This is the day which is uh, the Indian Army has uh, sacrificed in 1965. And why 65? We've been sacrificing throughout the independence, right from the day one. And I personally feel the dues of the soldier should be given to them by the government. I'm sure they will give it. So it's been two months since uh, several ex-servicemen have been sitting on a relay uh, hunger strike. And uh, in fact, three of them have been sitting on an indefinite hunger strike in the sense that fast yeah, unto yeah, death. That what do you have to say about this situation, sir? Do you think it's unfortunate that you've had it's to resort to... It's unfortunate for the country to come to a stage where a, a, a soldier has to sit down. When a soldier has to ask for his rights, that's a very, uh, very, very unfortunate, unfortunate situation. Very unfortunate. As